I go mad when people start speaking to me in a voice that they obviously think is efficient for their job. For instance, a doctor's receptionist. I don't know what it's like in the US, in the UK, it's like, yes, how can I help you? Yes, doctor's very busy today. Now, who told them to speak like that? Supermarket. Mr. Taylor, come to the checkout, please. Who, did, is there a school? Well, all of those people get taught, have a nice day. Where, where is that school? Because I want to tear that school down. Everybody seems to have that in their brain an idea of how their job should speak. Now, you'd think that someone who works with television, someone who works with radio, wouldn't have that idea. Oh, how wrong can you be? Because the voices that you hear on, on television, the voices that you hear on the radio, are so much in a mould. Everybody thinks they have to sound like everybody else. Uh, again, in the UK, it's, Hi, and welcome to my latest show. Here we are, we were running through the top of the pops for 19.99. Nobody speaks like that anymore. Who was the first person who spoke like that? I can't believe it. And yet everybody thinks, that's how I've got to speak if I'm a radio host. When I joined uh, a television company many, many years ago, continuity announcers, they were in vision, and they say, coming up in 30 minutes time, it's Coronation Street, but now the bill. Now who in their right mind actually speaks like that? That's not a, a real person speaking. With the greatest respect, vicars, priests. We are gathered here today. It is wonderful to remember Paul Lavers as he gives us now his final resting place. You know, no one actually speaks like that. It's like people who speak poetry. They put on a poetry voice. People put on a Shakespearean voice to play Shakespeare. Please get rid of all those stereotypes. We do not want to speak like anybody else just because they think it's the way that a TV host should speak. Hi, welcome to tonight's show. We've got some great offers coming up for you tonight. And we've got some really exciting people who are going to be coming on and we're going to be speaking to them. That's so insincere. We want to hear you. I always bang on about unto thine own self be true. Not just Shakespeare, but Socrates said it too. You have to be true to you and to your audience. Don't put on a voice. I want you to use the voice that if your parents heard you, if your friends heard you, they wouldn't say, Paul, wh why are you using that voice? That's a weird voice to use. Now, that doesn't mean to say that when I'm presenting, I, I can do uh, uh, impersonations of people. I can use all sorts of different voices, but people know that I'm using a voice. When I'm actually in front of the camera hosting a show, or talking to a guest, I use the voice that anyone listening to me, my children can say, that's dad's voice. That's his voice. He's just speaking like he does at home. You have to listen to yourself. You have to, and you know what annoys me? Please don't get me started on this. People who say, oh, I never watch myself. Why not? If you were a painter, what, oh, you, what are you just gonna go, ah, yeah, yeah. I don't wanna see my painting anymore. I've done it. Hey, that's so yesterday. I don't want to see what I've done. You have got to listen to yourself. You have got to watch yourself because you may fall into to habits. We all can fall into habits so easily and quickly that we need to keep a monitor on ourselves. We need to be monitoring ourselves literally every single day, every single week, because it's so easy to fall into a trap of becoming a caricature of yourself. Surely you know friends who've become so staid in the character they present. They are now that character. They're either Mr. Grumpy or, or, or they're Mr. Enthusiastic all the time. Don't become a caricature of yourself. Be yourself. And make sure that every time you are speaking to a camera or to a microphone, you are being true to you. You're not putting on a cloak. This is my presenter's cloak like the, the invisibility cloak. Don't put on the cloak of a voice that isn't yours. Don't put on a face mask 
of someone who smiles in a particular way that, that TV people smile. Be yourself, be your face. It's the only face you're going to get unless you spend an awful lot of money and then it's not worth it because it won't respond the way that your face does. So be yourself. Do not speak in anyone's voice. You can borrow from whoever you like in, when you're rehearsing, when you're training yourself at home. Try someone else's voice. Try out the way they pitch something. That's cool. But you bring it and make it your own. Be your own person. Make sure your voice is your real voice every time you speak. 